Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I want to show you how you can load your very own custom branded organization template to the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint start pages, whether you're on Windows, Mac, or web. And this feature is very near and dear to my heart. This is something I worked on before I left Microsoft, and this is the first YouTube video on the topic because it is just rolling out now. What do I mean by custom branded organization template? Well, I'm gonna use my favorite example with the Kevin Cookie Company. It's a fictitious company that I use in many of my tutorial videos. Now at the Kevin Cookie Company, we have invested a substantial amount of resources in developing our brand. For instance, we've spent a lot of time, we've done focus groups on identifying the perfect font. We've also taken high quality images of our products that we also have incorporated into presentations and Word documents. And we want, ideally when our employees go to meet with customers and partners, we want them using these decks that we've developed to represent our company in the best possible way. Now, what happened recently, we had an employee go rogue where they created their own PowerPoint presentation. I don't know where they got this font from, but it doesn't align with our corporate uh, font. And they included a picture of a fortune cookie. We don't even sell fortune cookies at the Kevin Cookie Company. Now, part of this is my responsibility because it wasn't easy enough to find our official branded templates. What I can do is to make it as easy as possible, I wanna take my branded templates and I wanna put them on the Word, the PowerPoint, the Excel start pages, so when my employees go to create new content, it's as easy to access as possible. Now I have two caveats to call out before we jump into this. One of them is to be able to follow these steps, you need to be a SharePoint or a global admin. Now if you're not, don't worry, your life is actually easier because all you need to do is simply click on share and then share this video with your admin and they'll do it for you and you're basically done. The second caveat is once you load templates up for your employees to be able to view these templates, they have to be on either an E3 or an E5 license. The easiest way to know if your employee is on an E3 license is if they have access to the desktop apps for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. All right, well, enough talk. Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you step-by-step step how you can take advantage of this. Here I am on my desktop and I have Microsoft PowerPoint open and here is an official presentation that I've pulled together for the Kevin Cookie Company. It has the proper font, it has the right imagery and ideally all my employees will use this when they're meeting with customers and partners and by putting it on the start pages, I think that'll be more likely to happen and hopefully I avoid that issue with the fortune cookie appearing on our company deck. Now, although I'm walking through this for Microsoft PowerPoint, you can follow these same exact steps in either Word or Excel. The first step that I need to do is first off, I need to save this as a template file. And to do that, I'm going to go up to the file menu and let's click on file. Let's go down to save as, and I want to put this on my desktop for now. So I'm going to click on browse, go to my desktop, and what I wanna do is for the save as type, this is an extremely important step. I need to make sure I save it as a PowerPoint template. If you don't do this, it won't work properly. So let's select PowerPoint template. And when I select PowerPoint template, it changed the location on me. So I'm gonna click on desktop again. And for the file name, it says Kevin Cookie Company. Let me call it Kevin Cookie Company Official. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it now. Here I am on my desktop and you can see now that there's a new file there called Kevin Cookie Company Official. If I right click on it and go to properties, you'll see here that it's a POTX file. That's the PowerPoint template file type. Now what do we do with this file to make it available on the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint start pages? We need to load this file or this template file into a template repository on SharePoint. And I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how we can set this up. As a first step, let's open up a browser and we're gonna to navigate to the website office.com. This is how we're gonna log in so we could get to SharePoint. So click on sign in. Once again, like I mentioned at the beginning, you need to log in with either a SharePoint admin or a global admin account to be able to do this. Go ahead and type in your credentials and once you log in, you'll land on the authenticated office.com website. 
on office.com, let's click on SharePoint. Once you click on SharePoint, it'll load my SharePoint portal. You need to decide what site or what SharePoint site you want these templates to be stored in. In my case, I'm gonna put them in the Live at Contoso site, but you could choose whatever SharePoint site you want. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a template repository, and a template repository is basically a document repository that we run a PowerShell script on, and that'll turn it into a template repository. To create a new document repository, you could simply click on new and you could click on document library and then name it whatever you want. In my case, I already have a document repository that I've set up and it's called templates. So I'm gonna click on templates. The name that you give the document repository, in this case, I called it templates. This is also the name that all the files will appear under within the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint start pages. So make sure that you give a name that's appropriate and that your employee will be able to use to identify that these are the official templates. And here you'll see that I have one PowerPoint file already loaded. Once again, you could load either Word or Excel files as well, along with PowerPoint files, but you'll need to make sure that they are template files. And in this case, for the sample file that I have, you'll see that it's a POTX file. Now, I created this template just a moment ago for the Kevin Cookie Company. Let me go ahead and upload that. So I'm gonna click on Upload here. I'm gonna go to Files, and now I wanna select the template file that I just saved on my desktop called the Kevin Cookie Cookie Company Official. I'll go ahead and open and now that's uploading it to this document repository. The template file is now included in the document repository and we now need to set it up in a way that Word, Excel, and PowerPoint will be able to look at this location and then pick out all the templates from here. Now, one thing to call out, Word will pick out all the Word templates, PowerPoint will pick out all the PowerPoint templates, and Excel will pick out all of the Excel templates. The next thing that we need to do is we need to convert the document repository that we just created in SharePoint and we need to convert it to a template repository. And to do that, we're gonna use the SharePoint Online Management Shell. If you already have the SharePoint Online Management Shell, simply click on your Start menu and then type in SharePoint Online Management Shell. I'll go ahead and do that so I can launch it and you'll get a command prompt to appear like this if you already have it. If you don't yet have the SharePoint Online Management Shell, don't worry, I've included a link in the description, and if you click on that link, it'll bring you to this website that tells you how to get started with the SharePoint Online Management Shell, and right here at the top, if you click on this hyperlink, this will allow you to download the SharePoint Online Management Shell. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we need to log in as the administrator. And if you scroll down the page here, there are two different ways to log in. If you just have a username and password, you can copy this and we're gonna use this to log in. If you have multi-factor authentication set up, so basically in many cases, if you get a code on your phone that you also have to type in, you're gonna use this step to sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna copy this one because I have multi-factor authentication set up on my account. Back on my desktop, I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna paste this in. And one of the things that I've done is I customized it so it has my organization name in here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Next, it's gonna ask me to type in my credentials. So I'll go ahead and type my credentials to sign in to my organization. Now that I'm logged in, the next thing that I need to do is run another PowerShell script that'll convert the document repository into a template repository. Once again, by being a template repository, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint will be able to identify this, and the templates that we created will now show up on the start pages. And to do that, we need to run another command. Once again, I've included a link to this page within the description of the video, and here is the command that we wanna run. You could click on copy here. We're gonna to have to customize a few of the things in this command, and I'll show you what those are. I'm gonna paste in the command, and one of the things that we wanna do is we need to specify the library URL, and here's the library that appears here. This is the URL of the document repository that we set up in SharePoint. So here, if I jump back into SharePoint, I could get the URL simply by copying this portion of it 
and then I paste that into the command that I'm going to run. And then there's one more variable that I set here. I wanna set this as an office template library. There's also another thing that you could set called an image library, and that's where you could house things like logos and photos. But today we're focused on the template library, so I'm gonna leave that in as part of the command. And once all of that looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna ask me if I want to add a new tenant, CDN origin, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes. I wanna go ahead and do that. And in this case, I've already configured it as a template library, but if this is your first time running, it'll go ahead and it'll apply it as a template library. Now, one thing to call out, when you set this up as a template library, it's gonna take a little bit of time to propagate. I actually ran this yesterday, and now today it's showing up as a template library. Uh, the service uses caching, and that's one of the reasons it takes a little bit longer for this to show up. One of the nice things is once you turn the document repository into a template repository, you no longer need a global admin or a SharePoint admin anyone at that point who has permissions to that template repository can go in and they can add files to that location and those will then show up on the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint start pages. So you only need an admin to run this one script to turn it into a template repository. Ideally, there would have been a button that you could just click on instead of having to run this script, but it is what it is. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how this turned out. Here I am in PowerPoint on Windows. You could also do this in PowerPoint in Mac. And when I click on new, one of the things that you'll see is along with the Office Microsoft provided templates, they're also personal templates. I now have a new category called KevStrat. KevStrat is the name of my organization. If I titled it Kevin Cookie Company, that would appear here. Whatever your organization name is, that'll show up in this space. If I click on that now, you'll see that I now have two templates. One of them is the Kevin Cookie Company official template that I just uploaded. And then I have a test or sample template here as well. Here I am on the PowerPoint start page on the web and you'll see that I have a templates folder. Once again, this name matches the folder name that I assigned in SharePoint. And if I click into templates, here you'll see that I have the Kevin Cookie Company official template appearing along with my sample template. So hopefully by putting these templates directly on the start page, it'll make it more obvious and easy to use for my employee base and we won't have any more fiat fiascos where we end up presenting using the wrong branding to customers and partners. All right, well hopefully that showed you how you could add your own custom branded organization templates to the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint start pages, whether you're on Windows, Mac, or on the web. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. That's where I get my video ideas from, from viewers like you. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.